Welcome to the Papa Studio. Have you ever looked down at the ground and wondered what's going on in the world of ants? Well, get ready, because today we're diving into one of the tiniest yet fiercest battles in nature. The War of Ants. Imagine thousands of ants marching in perfect lines like an army. They don't have drums or flags, but they move together as if one mind. How do they do this? The secret is pheromones, tiny chemical signals. One ant leaves a trail and the others follow, like invisible arrows saying, this way, soldiers. Pheromones also tell the ants when to attack. It's their secret language of war. But why do ants go to war? The answer is simple, food, land, and survival. Fire ants fight to control territory. Army ants march like a flood, eating anything in their path. And some ants steal babies from other colonies. They carry the pupae home, raise them, and turn them into workers. That's right, ant. Slavery exists in nature. The battlefields are intense. Soldier ants with giant jaws bite and hold their enemies while others spray acid like tiny chemical weapons. Even the smallest ants rushing together, proving that teamwork beats size. Some ants lose their legs or wings in battle, but they keep fighting for the end. At the end of the war, one side wins food, land, and glory. The other side loses everything. To us humans, these battles might look small, but for ants, they decide the future of an entire kingdom. So next time you see ants on the ground, remember, under your feet, there might be an invisible war being photo war of survival, strategy, and teamwork. And that's the amazing story of the War of Ants.